it won't be easy until he's home or he dies there, I guess. It will never get easy. And there's nothing nothing easy about someone being in jail away from their family. Who wants that? People in the neighborhood asked when is he getting out. No one believed he has life. Most people would assume, what did he do? Who did he kill, you know? He wasn't a you know yeah. violent person. He was, he was not violent. Easy going. Easy going. Just you know. He'd give his lunch away, and you know, to mom, she felt like they were taking advantage of him. Yes, you know? he would not fight or anything. I do remember the car wash. I do remember him telling me not to be involved in the car wash or guys around. There's certain things in the neighborhood. He found that the federal government agency was actually looking for him. He called us and said, I'll turn myself in and being the family we are, we said we'd do it together. We all went as a family and uh, met with the prosecutors. I remember the judge saying something, something to the effect of, I have no choice. This is a mandatory sentence. He said, life without parole. I didn't expect no. that. No way in the world right. on God's green earth. And this is a picture of me and my dad. One of my favorite and one and only. I probably was about three. I don't know what's my dad's favorite color. Anything. No memory. I just know my father as being in behind bars. That's the only memory I have. Yeah, I left work early, so you, you owe me some time. It's only 15 minutes you're allowed to talk to him. He normally called me every evening. Well, he get on me about eating. Her health? My health. He stay on me about that, so I hear that every day. <laughs> Just about. I would like for my son to have a relationship with my father, the relationship that me and my dad didn't have. How he's kept his his uh, his faith in there, how he's kept his 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 sanity, uh, just visiting him uh, throughout the years. Um, I admire that. Dear Mr. President. I am Robin Noble, the mother of Jesse Webster, and missing him so very much. I do not want to depart this earth with my son in prison for the rest of his life. I ask if you can find it in your heart as a parent. Please grant my son, Jesse Webster, a reduction in his sentence. I appreciate you taking the time to read this letter. Sincerely, Robin Noble.